In today's video, we're breaking down and heading to the Keys. All right, we're beginning the breakdown to go to the Keys. This is how we do it. So Terry's working the Jenga. Come on, you can fit all that. I'm working it. That's the end game. Okay, we're going to set up for our flush. So basically what we're doing here is we're going to do a black tag flush. And I'll run through this probably two or three times till everything's coming out of the black tank clear. It's been a while since I did one. We like to do them when we have full hookups. So what I do is I run it through. I set a timer on my phone. And I'll go in and check the tank levels. From time to time. And then once it, uh, once I know how long it takes at a particular location to fill it, then I just set my timer for the next round. And I don't have to go in and check it. Typically it takes about nine minutes to fill our tank on the normal pressure. It's Murphy's Law. Whenever you try to pack up or unload, it's gonna start raining. That way, if I roll it over, I won't lose my turd toter. Right? What are you doing there, babe? Hiding from you. Thing. One thing you always want to do is you want to make sure these bolts have the nuts on the bottom like so. 
we also want to make sure that these clips are clipped right. The reason being, if this nut is on the top, like this one, it falls off, your bolt drops out. And then you come unhooked. At least this way, you have a chance of the bolt staying in because it's under pressure when you pull. And these clips right here are 90% of the reason people lose their toes while traveling is because they flip this clip backwards and it doesn't lock. You always want to make sure it's snapped down like that. Just a pro tip. Pro tip. From Here's somebody who hasn't lost their toad yet, but yet, not probably not will. Quite. Probably will now. So. Harry's playing Jenga again. This is what your compartments look like if you're full time. Yeah. Ridiculous. Are we good? Yep. So I start in the bedroom. Uh, make sure that the doors are shut. The washer and dryer needs to be clipped. Brandy has a tool bag that's too heavy to go in the under the bed storage. So we take that out to bring the slide in. And I make sure there's no dog toys under there. Watch out, bud. That's ready to bring the slides in. We use the bed for the heavy items for our travel day. And now on to the bathroom. I just secure any loose items. Thanks, honey. I got you. <laughs> I got you. Don't ride there. Make sure that the doors are locked. And I gotta clean up the cabinet, the counter. Everything gets stashed. These we got at Walmart. Um, they're just the smaller curtain rods. They're adjustable. Uh, you want to use those for your refrigerator. 
Otherwise you may have a huge mess when you arrive at your destination. We're packed up pretty good going to the Keys. I didn't want to spend a fortune down there. So, so we spent it here. Yeah, <laughs> we did, but that's okay. All right, so that's the refrigerator. The bun, the stash, and the microwave, or, yeah, and the, re and the dishwasher. That's the dishwasher. This is the dishwasher, yeah. I do know that. We call that a dishwasher, it does your dishes. And the rest of these items will ride up here. I do put the oil away because I don't want it all over the place. Gotta do the Berkey. Yes, sir. This is here so the Berkey doesn't scratch the counter. I leave that there. Otherwise, it rides perfectly fine. It has the cabinet. The counter, yeah. Cabinet. That's the cabinet. You're the other right. counter. The other counter. The one, yeah. the, the cabinet up top. So it has a rubber base so it rides securely. We just make sure that we have enough water in there for coffee when we get to our destination on travel days. So we just take an extra precaution. Light on, on my coffee. Coffee goes with me up front. Um, okay, now over here, I just tuck all my knickknacks. This was secured with that double-sided tape. Randy can tell you what it is. I'm not real sure, but it's like a heavy duty, so I don't have to put that one away. coffee table we do use for daily storage so those items will go on the bed for travel day the dog bed will stay with us obviously Woody and Gracie like to ride with me so that's where they sit after we get on the highway We originally bought this as a dog crate and then doubles as a uh, coffee, table. coffee table. So, bought it off the internet. And cool thing about it is it folds up really neat. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> we don't use it as a crate anymore because well, can... Woodrow doesn't like it. He got all crazy one day when we left him in here and tore it up, so we don't put him in there anymore. Wow, he's matured too. He's a big boy now. Yeah. And we've never had any problems with him hurting anything in the coach while we're gone or anything like that. So. Okay, so that's the, the finished product yeah, for travel Yeah, it is. all up all nice. And I'll just tuck it back here. Makes for a nice coffee table. That's where that rides. Okay, on to the rug. This is a good video. You get to do all the work. <laughs> well, you 
and we are able to leave water traveling in this tippin. And the dishes for the dog, we don't seem to have a problem with spilling as we go down the road or turning. So if the dogs are thirsty, they're able to get a drink while we're on the road. Watch out, Woods. It's because I'm a great driver. That's what it is. Basically, everything has a little place that it goes. As I was saying, everything basically has a place. We put the remotes away. The salt and pepper could probably ride there. I just don't take the chance. So they get tucked away. The rest of that will stay on the table. And we'll go up front with us once we hit the road. My last chores is to make sure the L couch is in and the seats are cleared before we pull in the slides. Most important thing to make sure your seats are not going to hit the slides. We already learned that lesson once. We hope you like this video of us packing up. As you know, we're getting ready to head to the Keys. If you like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, click the bell for notifications, and we'll see you in the Keys. Thanks for watching.